Fairmont residents have long said the city has a middle child syndrome, but a new mayor and a new city council say it's in the process of becoming a destination point in north central West Virginia. Sarah Capus has more on that from the 12 Newsroom. Tell us, Sarah, what do, uh, what do residents think about that? Albert, residents have the same expectations as the council, more business and more money. For Fairmont residents, a new council means, well, the same questions. First up, well, the condition of the streets, uh, I ride a bus most of the time, and it's rough on the rear end. Street paving projects have been a thorn in the side of city council for years. Two separate levies, the same failing result. And with not enough extra money in the budget, the mayor says it's a major problem, but his hands are tied without outside help. And I think the only way we can generate those funds to get into street paving and attract new businesses is strictly on the private side. But private businesses need the promise of patrons. That's why promoting Fairmont is at the top of the to-do list. The biggest hurdle I think facing Fairmont today is the fact that to the north we have Morgantown, to the south we have Clarksburg, communities that have really flourished uh, in, in services with, uh, with retail. City leaders say this could be the answer. Jerry Boyers of Ryder Pharmacy says he believes it. A lot of people have said that, you know, that it's a connector gone to nowhere, but uh, roads aren't built to where businesses are. Businesses go to where the roads are. So. And city leaders say Fairmont will continue on the road to development. And, and I think our main goal is very obvious. I mean, we are out here uh, wanting to attract new businesses. I mean, we have to do everything we can to attract a private investor to come into Fairmont and spend their money right here in Fairmont. And now there's a lot of success on the way, so stay tuned. And the council says the Urban Renewal Authority and the brand new water park will, are both tools that will help boost Fairmont to a richer future. For now, reporting live in the 12 Newsroom, I'm Sarah Capus.